Bien, la empresa Boston Dynamite acaba de lanzar nuevos vídeos. Bueno, aquí vemos a su, a su modelo que presentaron hace unos meses. Vamos a bajar el volumen. Y bueno, aquí le tienen haciendo pues, tareas de, de push-up. Y como veis mantiene el equilibrio, aunque aquí no le han puesto mano, sino ese tipo de, de acabado. Y el levantamiento, que es donde está ¿vale? el movimiento, que es el que vimos eh, cuando lanzaron o presentaron el vídeo que es tan famoso. Os dejo el link más abajo, pero bueno, ya recordáis que este era el vídeo. ¿vale? Aquí se ve el acabado mucho, mucho mejor. ¿vale? Al final este era el vídeo de presentación. En ese movimiento de las piernas de 365 grados, cómo andaba y bueno, cómo se acababa girando y eh, acababa el vídeo de esta manera con todos estos dispositivos que tiene ahí detectores y se acaba yendo. Y mientras tanto, mientras que la gente de Boston ha lanzado ese vídeo, aquí vamos a ver una entrevista con el propietario de de Figure 2, ¿vale? que ya sabéis que es esta empresa que he sacado algunos vídeos que están lanzando pues esta serie de, de robots que parecen de los, de los más avanzados pues bueno, justo con, con este que acabamos de ver de Boston vamos a ver lo que dice que es bastante interesante la entrevista este es el reportero I am curious how you think about Optimus and Tesla and Elon. So inspired by what Elon's done in the last like 20, 30 years. It's been just unbelievable. We need more like really real players. I think Tesla's a really real player. Like, I mean, like, you know, highly capitalized, great engineering team. And I think they're directly heading in the right direction. I'm tracking the robot companies coming out of China. I spent a lot of time touring kind of what high rate manufacturing processes look like out there. And I, it was just, um, I was, it was, it was shocking. I mean, listen, you're amazing, but the star of the show here is figure two. So do you mind if maybe we open up this podcast with a, a, a quick look at figure two? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, so I guess welcome, welcome to figure. Hey everybody, Peter Diamandis here. Welcome to Moonshots. On today's episode, we're going to do a deep dive with Brett Adcock, the CEO of figure robotics, figure AI. Uh, he's going to be giving us a tour of his shop and figure two, his new robot release. If you're watching us on YouTube, we're going to talk about what he thinks about Elon and uh, an optimist. Talk about the robots in your home, when to expect them, and his projection of 10 billion robots on the planet by 2040. He just did a monster round with uh, 700 million or so from OpenAI, Microsoft, Jeff Bezos, NVIDIA, And we'll talk about how he's integrating OpenAI's software into his Figure 2 robot. An extraordinary conversation, one of my favorites. All right, if you enjoy conversations like this, please subscribe. Let's jump in over to Brett and uh, Figure AI. Hey, Brett, good to see you, my friend. Yeah, Peter, thanks for having me. Yeah, I know for sure. Uh, it was super fun to come and visit your office, uh, I don't know, it was like two months ago. It was before you rolled out Figure 2. And I have to say, you know, I said to you there, uh, the speed at which you're iterating designs is pretty amazing. Uh, and I, I didn't feel that kind of an energy uh, since the early days of me seeing, you know, SpaceX back at, at Falcon One days. So congrats on that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think everybody really, I mean, listen, you're amazing, but the star of the show here is figure two. So do you mind if maybe we open up this podcast with a, a, a quick look at figure two, if you don't mind? Can we go uh, take a, a quick sneak peek on the shop floor? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, let's make sure it's not being used, but let's, uh, I can give you guys a quick uh, maybe yeah. call tour of the office. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess welcome, welcome to figure. Uh, Thank you. So we're, yeah, we're well over 100 engineers now. Um, Uh, we're based here in Northern California, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, we just unveiled um, last week Figure Two, which is our second generation humanoid robot. And um, we have, um, right now, we're manufacturing about one a week in our facility here in California. And, um, and we have, you know, several of them here now uh, on the floor. Um, so here's, you know, a quick look at a uh, Figure Two robot that we're. Um, Barry, start doing some tests on uh, right now. 
Amazing. I, I know your team is about to, uh, to activate it. If you're going to say that the principal differences between figure one and figure two, I mean, just for folks, you know, the company's like two years old or less, right? You've gone yeah. from like zero to infinity super fast. Yeah. What, what's the what's the difference between what upgrades did you make in figure two here? Yeah, I mean, there's um, it's there's several. <laughs> so yeah, your, um, your top five. Yeah, so I think um, first is we tripled the amount of CPU and GPU on board, uh, just for more overall compute and inference. Uh, the second is we almost doubled the battery to about 2.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, it's all on board the system in the middle of the torso uh, here next to basically the compute and, uh, and GPU. Uh, we had all the wires all internal. Uh, so there's mm -hmm. no, no external wires, uh, cabling, electronics. Uh, that's really for reliability and for overall packaging. Um, we also have an exoskeleton structure. So all the outer shells of the robot uh, actually take loads. Um, which is opposed to um, kind of how we did the first generation robots. So this, this would be like more akin to how you do it, like say aviation, like mm -hmm. last company Archer, we, like, you know, the skins on the aircraft take the loads of the vehicle. Um, so I think it's pretty unique here for um, a system like this. We also have um, six onboard cameras, so we have more perception, more ability to see our surroundings. Where are the, where are the cameras on the, on the um, uh, robot here? We have them in the head, in the back, and in the lower torso. That's, that's cool. And I, I assume that the exoskeleton helps you reduce overall weight uh, of, the, um, uh, of the robot. Yeah, it's basically like a, like overall, like um, the parts will get a little bit stiffer as they get a little bit wider. Um, we found that um, having one structure for both crass loads and, and stiffness uh, is the right ideal mass trade. Uh, mm -hmm. And like figure one had kind of like both structure and outer shell for loads. And that's just really not ideal where you... Um, you know, like the structure is really sized by crash load. So then you end up having basically double mass sure. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Okay. And the hands, have you made improvements on the, uh, on the hands on the? Yeah. So these hands show, show us, hold, hold his yeah. hand and show, and show us what it looks like okay. to do it. So our, our um, uh, fourth generation hands now. Huh. Um, and uh, we made like quite a lot of improvements uh, over the previous generations. Um, better sensors, better packaging, better for mass, better strength, better speeds of the fingers. Um, overall, just better dexterity and control of like fine grain manipulation that we're doing uh, on board the robot. Uh, we need to do like human-like applications. Uh, so the more here that we can um, do human-like tasks and grab human-like objects, the, the better for, uh, for generalization of the robot. Amazing. And it's standing, what, about five, six? Five, seven yep, behind five, you? Five, five six. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Thank you for the, the quick glance. You want to drop back into your conference room? I, I love the, uh, the beams up. Bueno, aquí tenéis el... Os dejo en el enlace más abajo el vídeo. Está bastante interesante. Dura, como veis, una hora 29. Y bueno, está enseñando la, las oficinas donde están desarrollando este robot que posiblemente pues en 2025... Empecemos a ver si no es de esta compañía de alguna otra ya vendiéndolo porque hasta el día de hoy, pues bueno, como sabemos, solo hay pequeñas demos y parece que no están listos pues para tareas del día a día. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo, como siempre, darle a like, comentar y nos vemos.